Uh, we sent thanks to our buddy. They just tipped us five bucks for that ride. So we are almost, <laughs> we're so close to 20. Beautiful motor. Lucy girl, hey, hey, oh my goodness. Calm it down. Oh no, there's someone else getting mad. You're getting pets. Take it, take it. Hello. Yeah, baby. Gosh, 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 gosh. All right, guys, today's Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Day number seven. You are going down at work, but that's tomorrow. Day number seven of uh, the Uber week. Oh, my goodness, I've never worked seven days. It is the week. Well, what's next week? This is the last day I have to work Uber. And it's only have to work a little bit. Yes. Is it cold? You, I get you Dunkin' Donuts. Maybe I will bring you Dunkin' Donuts. Oh my goodness, what do we got going on here? T-Dubs is making some uh, fajitas. Oh yeah. All right, those fajitas look yummy. Yeah, oh. they'll be ready in I, have, I only have to work one uh, more day today, just a little bit, and try to make a number. Can you give me Dunkin' Donuts right now? Maybe. <laughs> Why do you love donuts so much? And then, uh, Maybe tomorrow, okay, sir, Cash, if you want to go, I might take the big truck for a little run. I'm jumping the truck. You can come in a big truck. Do you want to go to big truck tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I want to see the drone. Oh, you just want to see the drone. Oh, yeah. Mama's coming. You want to see the drone in the sky. Mama can come too, too. We can all go. It's a little yeah. short run. We do have some trucking tomorrow. It's kind of a, a dual purpose thing, yes. Is that looks like that's a uh, Mac. Okay. No, that's not Mac. That's not Mac? That's Dad's dad's truck? Okay. All right, guys, back to work today. It's Sunday. One more day. Uh, we are pretty pretty well quoted right now. We have a, what, $480 in uh, cash tips right now for the week, which is amazing. Two, $200 cash tips helped a lot, though. And let's get back to it. See what's going on. Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> Who puts broccoli on pizza? Oh, my goodness. That's so yucky. It was so good. Jason said, ew. That's what I said, Casey. Thanks, Cash. You got, you're doing chores now? Oh, and you're eating the pizza with pull the broccoli off. Good job, dude. That's why you get Robux. All right. Thanks, dude. All right, I'm out of here. Love you guys. I do not, but thanks for asking. I'll take, I'll take a couple bananas, though. Pull it off. Watch out for cars, there's a Jeep coming. Oh, that's a rubber band. R pull it off the uh, red thing. The red. Yeah, this. Push I'll push it for you, okay? This one? Yep. Go ahead, push the button. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> All right. Okay, those chicken fajitas look like they're going to be great from T Dubs. And we have two crazies over here waiting for us again, of course. They're way down by. Uncle Robbie, Robbie's house, the neighbor. Hey, don't worry, when you get far. Okay, high five, Kai. Okay. Watch out for cars. What's in the van? Nothing's in the van. Huh? Did you forget your iPad? No, it's right there. Where? Right here, it's sitting right there. <laughs> See? See? Or it goes, you're a mile an hour. Yeah, you're a mile an hour. Do the thing where I squish the water. <laughs> no, I don't want to make the windshield dirty. <laughs> Baby, we're going tomorrow, we're going to go in a big truck. Well, big truck tomorrow, okay? Huh? You can be on the top of big truck and can I go too? tomorrow, yeah. I can go. Okay, come on. Bye bye. I love. Uh, All right, love you guys. Love you too. Bye bye. Love you. Love you too. I'm gonna come too. I love you. Okay, come, come with me. Go. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> go back home. I love you. <laughs> Crazy boys. All right, let's get going. And it is 46 degrees today, and I've got my smiley banana. Um, yeah, we do have some trucking work to do tomorrow, so we're already over 2,500 for the um, gross for the uh, week, but that is including those cash tips. So we need a little bit of fuel in the tanks. We're going to fuel up this thing finally. We're at $220 in fuel spent. Um, so we'll probably, what, probably another 50 bucks right here, and that will end up being, what, 270 in fuel, and, and so far 500 in. Uh, cash tips for 480 we'll go a little bit today we really don't need to go i want to spend some time with the boys but i did say i'll go all seven days so i'm gonna try and go all seven days and uh 
see where the Uber ends up. And then uh, that'll be a, a testament of how much you can make Ubering. Walgreens delivery for seven miles for six <coughs> six dollars. I don't, I don't know about that. But yeah, let's get to Sam's Club, get some fuel, and we should get some trips off of Woodruff because uh, it's close to a bunch of people. And then hopefully there's no traffic. We'll shut this down. We do have some trucking tomorrow, so that'd be cool. Fire that truck up and uh, working for a, a company finally. Kinda. I guess uh, leasing off for a company, so that'll be something new for the next video. Let's check it out. But first, let's get one more day Uber, probably like a four day, st four hour stint, and that'll be it. Okay, she just kicked off $46. So that makes the total, we'll just round it up to $270. Because we were at 220 add another 50 Okay, 270 for the week, and that fuel's not going to all be used because I'm not going to use that all today. So we are full though. Let's go. Okay, we have uh, George as our first ride. And Uber's kind of cool. They say uh, when someone's a top tipper, which I hope my Uber app does when I, when I ask for an Uber, <laughs> because I tip every time. So I think that's I think that's what it's keeping track of is that if you top tip a lot. So it says I'm a top tipper, hopefully, and this guy's a top tipper. He's going to the airport. Hey, there you go. <laughs> She's waving at me. She's like, hi. She's probably got spring break <laughs> going on vacation. I got some nice Jeep and Raptor. He likes the gunmetal gray for sure. All right, let's get him going. Sorry, we're over here. <laughs> you guys heading to the airport? Yes. All righty. We're light today. Man, it was cool meeting George and his little daughter had a million questions. Just reminded me of Casey a lot. My middle son. Uh, it's like, and then she just said, I want to get a donut, Daddy. He's, he's like, okay, we're on vacation. But they're going to Disney World. So that's pretty cool. Have fun down there, guys. Awesome meeting you. A nice, easy trip, or, uh, trip off of uh, Woodruff, so I can't complain about that. Whew. Uh, during the week, winter's not so fun. A lot of like black car services here right now for Sunday. So we'll skip the queue and go to QT and see if we get a run from the uh, airport. Yeah, that's a pretty horse, and that guy's just chilling. He said, I am relaxing. Got Victoria now uh, up here down these roads, just a little bit north of the airport, taking her to the mall. So let's go. Okay, Victoria should be right here on the right. Let's see what we got. see a little blue pin thing it shows you <clears throat> i don't know why some phones do that some phones don't maybe it's like you let the apple use your uh, or uber use your location but uh that little blue thing right there is her and we'll see if they uh we'll text her and see if she knows we're here Hello. victoria yes sir. all right How are you? pretty good Okay, Victoria was just going to the mall to get a taco and walk around. I said, cool. Now we got DeAndre. Uh, he said he'll be right down, so let's see where he's going. How we doing, man? Good, good, man. Super nice guy. Just going to QT. He works there. I said, you like working there? He said, it's awesome. I said, cool, man. I like getting fuel there with my semi truck. Uh oh, another load, another ride. Uh, doo -doo -doo. That one's way down Woodruff. We're going to say no, no on that one. Uh, okay, well, watch out, car's coming. But yeah, get back to trucking. We got a little bit of trucking tomorrow. We might stop at the QT on exit uh, 54. If you know where that's at, then uh, yeah, we got a little little mission to do tomorrow. A little working with a company. Let's do it. But first, let's finish out this Uber week. And on this day seven of Ubering, we have Maria. Where is she at? Left side, I think where that Highlander is. That's a good Uber car too. The uh, Toyota Highlander, not as easy as the uh, minivan, but um, they have like a hybrid version. Then if I continue to Uber, or who knows where life's gonna take me in the future, if it'll be trucking, which I pray it is, more trucking, but if I have to continue to Uber to supplement income for my boys and for T-Dubs not to have to work, so she can raise these boys, um, 
I'll probably buy the new Sienna hybrid minivan. Looks pretty dang cool. Um, I haven't seen inside them or anything, anything but I imagine that they're pretty nice. <laughs> but yeah, they make a hybrid one. All right, so we got... I think it's down on the left. Oh, I think there's someone just sitting out there. Wait. Yeah, that's yeah, Maria. Okay, so I went past you didn't, you didn't notice. All right. Here we go. Maria's just going uh, just a couple miles, like four miles. All right. Maria? Yeah. Hey, sorry, I thought you were on the other side. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> all Thank right, you. you're welcome. Okay, Mar uh, Maria was super cool. She's a retired school teacher. She works at a steakhouse now, and she's just going back to get her car because she got a ride home last night. Um, I highly recommend. There's a Hooters right here to the left, and there's a Pet Boys right down from Hooters. It's, so just so you can, like, there's only one Hooters in Greenville. If you knew where that was, you knew where the Pet Boys is right off the row of dealerships right here. And that is a great place to get your car inspected. If you're thinking about doing Uber, um, they're very uh, knowledgeable and understanding. So... I called other couple, couple other places, some uh, Jiffy Lubes. I would not go there. They were uh, a little bit, a little bit too strict. I would say any kind of light, even if ABS light or anything on your your dash, they would uh, fail the car. And then, and, and, yeah, just go to the uh, Pet Boys. Nice guys there. I've been there. They put my tires and wheels on. <laughs> they did both inspections on the Hellcat and the Escalade and the Sienna. So nice guys. All right, let's go pick up Ashley now. She's just up here, about a mile and left. All right, let's pick up Ashley, but first let's check out this little dude. Go ahead. Good job, dude. That's awesome. I'm just picking up someone for Uber, man, but you're really good at that. Keep practicing. What was your name? Kyan. Kyan? Yeah. Nice meeting you, buddy. All right, here we go. There you go. All right, Kyan, good job, buddy. Stick with it. All right, that was Ashley. And uh, Kyan, heck of a little athlete over there, man. That's pretty cool. She was just going 0.7 miles over here to Hometown Barbecue. And uh, there is a bunch of other little places like Double Stamp Brewery. All these cool little places in Greenville. So let's close out her ride and uh, see what else we get. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but the zoo is right down to the left. There's a pretty cool little park down there, too, and the river we're driving over right now uh, but yeah oh we got something going on oh, oh nissan xterra uh, a little wreck not bad oh it's a new carmax car too still has the carmax plate on it all right hey let's go we got the uh, other culprit over here we got the prius took a pretty hard hit oh man Okay, uh, we got a delivery from McDonald's. Last night we had a delivery from McDonald's. It was only going like one mile, but the drive through was so packed. Like there was two lanes, there was a McDonald's with two lanes for the uh, drive through And there was probably seven cars back past the, the actual menu area where you ordered screen um, on both lanes. I was like, uh, I'm not going to wait in these lines just to tell them I have an order. So I parked and kind of walked up and they looked at me like, who's this guy? And I, and I waited for a car to leave. And I just said, hey, i um, got an Uber Eats if you can just check on it. They're like, no, you got to wait in line. I'm like, okay, well, if I'm going to wait in line, I'm just going to cancel it. Just let you not be a mean about it, but I'm just going to cancel it. So they're like, okay, what's the number? And I said, this is like a five-digit number. I gave them that number. They're like, okay, wait over here by the door. And then like five minutes later, they gave it to me. And uh, people were just leaving the, the drive through waiting, like, the line because they were just so mad. But a lot of people wanted McDonald's last night at, like, 1130, midnight. And I took it, and uh, the, on the Uber app, it said uh, room six, 616 or something like that. I was like, uh, so I texted, and nobody responded. And then I went to the elevator, but it had, like, a key thing where you had to use your key, but it still worked. The elevator just worked. So I went to the sixth floor. Dropped it at 616, gave him a little knock on the door, and they said, you can just leave it out there. I was like, cool, there you go. <laughs> took a picture of it and took off. A McDonald's delivery. But uh, it was like $23, so $23 for a mile, I'll take that. It was part of the, uh, well, I only had like $350 in actual Uber stuff last night, but I did start off late. But we did have $300 of the tips last night, so that was pretty cool, cash tips. And we're back downtown, so let's see. We got little deliveries going. We got Yeehaw Brewing. 
Got some people in it, probably watching games again. It's so cool. You can see that TV over there. Uh, it's really clear, but not as busy as it, as it normally is. I should bring T-dubs down here sometime, ride the bike. But it's 50 degrees right now, so the, the air would be a little cold for her. We'll wait till it's in the 70s. Take a nice ride down to Yeehaw Bruin. Hey, we're downtown. Take a couple little ones around here, probably. And this right here is the entrance to the um, <clears throat> suspension bridge, the Reedy River. And it goes the other side is that Bohemian, that Grand Bohemian Lodge. <clears throat> Cracker Barrel to, no, there's no Cracker Barrel around here. I have to probably go down to Woodruff to pick that up. But yeah, it's a pretty cool little place to come to Greenville and uh, go check out the falls, the Reedy River. Maybe I'll walk out there if I don't get a ride soon and show you guys it. If I get a ride, though, I will just keep rolling. Because all I'm getting right now is deliveries. And I think this gives me a little uh, incentive right here. So up until the 20th tomorrow, I've uh, completed 55 trips. If I complete 60, I get um, 65 extra dollars. So that'll be like a quarter of our fuel we spent. So maybe we'll do that. We'll just do five little trips. They have to be started in Greenville, I think. They've already and unlock another. Uh, trips must begin in Greenville. The offer only applies to completed trips. Well, we're at 55, so we just need to get uh, another five trips. So let's just do that and then go home. <laughs> That'll be perfect. <laughs> so we'll take whatever we get right here in Greenville. And let's go check out that river real quick. So that's the beginning of it. But on the other side of that, there's some big falls. It goes right down. And then there's another set of falls over there on the other side of the, that's the Grand Bohemian right there. So pretty, pretty nice. Cool. Water's nice and clean and nice and flowing. All right. But yeah, that's the, uh, and that's the suspension bridge you can walk across. So forever they were doing construction over here and it kind of just stopped right there and there was a bunch of walls and that's why they were building that. Well, I didn't know that's what they were building. So it looks like they're gonna have like a rooftop up there or another place that's getting built behind it, maybe another hotel, but yeah, Greenville is not bad, guys. Not bad at all. All right, let's get uh, back to Uber. There's another fire, it's probably that same fire truck we just saw. That was helping. E2. All right, let's go. So we just took Molly on a little quick ride. Awesome girl from, uh, oh, it's a little tapas place, uh, place she's going to work at, Cosbaugh. <clears throat> now we have Jeff right up here. So there's two down, three more to go, then we're out of here. And Jeff is at the Homewood Suites. Okay, okay. There we go. We got Jeff. Yes, All righty. And we're going uh, to Hyatt? Yes, sir. Let's go. How are you today? Pretty good. How are you guys doing? Good. Pretty good. Okay, we dropped off Jeff, and now we have Anjana. And that will be our third trip in Greenville, so we have to have two more to get that promotion. And now I'll just look for a ride that's heading back towards the house, and uh, that'll be our Sunday, guys. That promotion money doesn't go towards my total uh, gross. It's like a separately paid thing, so... We, uh, we'll just add that into the fuel and the tips, and it should be a $2,500 week, because right now we're at $2,250, like $50, I think, $2,210 or something like that for um, just Uber rides, and then we have $485 in cash tips with $200 tips, so yeah, that helped a lot, but so many $20 tips yesterday it was amazing, and just thank you everyone who, who tips like that, it's a blessing. A golf cart, all right. And we're right back by the Grand Bohemian to our right, and once all this construction is done and whatever they're building right there, which is probably, a, I don't know, another hotel or some office buildings, it'll be pretty nice, because there's another road down there that'll drop you right back on that road we just got off of, which is 29. It'll make it a lot easier to flow through it, so. All right, let's go pick up Anjana, and she's only going 0.7 miles, and then we'll look for ride number 59 and ride number 60. Okay, there she is right there, and she just modified the trip, so who knows where we're going now, but we shall see. All right. And Jonna, how you doing? Chilling. All right, you're going to BP? Yeah. All right. 
coming back. I just think they're going to get some sleep. Okay, okay. So that's some of that tricky, tricky stuff people be doing. Um, it was like a 0.7 mile run, which is probably just to that BP, which is a gas station. And then she says, well, I need bleach. I'm doing laundry. Do you mind going to the family dollar? And I said, that is fine with me. So now we're at the first stop. So it used to be just one ride, and then she changed it to a there and back, and now she changed it to a dollar store BP, and then back. So some of that tomfoolery that we get. Uh, you get bad ratings for that. Nice lady, awesome, cool, but um, I don't take any rides that say multiple, multiple stops on them. And I think a lot of people don't. Uh, you shouldn't if you're an Uber driver. It's not worth it. Not worth the waiting time like we're doing right now. <clears throat> but um, trying to get that 65 or 60 rides, I think. $65 for 60 rides. So she's the third one we need today. So we got two more. But we just, uh, we'll just wait. Just a little bit waiting. But yeah, it's a little bit um, frustrating when people do that. Because you got to keep going. Don't want to be sitting here waiting for you to go buy your stuff and come out. Come on. But hey, we'll get her back home and then keep going. Okay, we got her dropped off. Wasn't that bad. She wasn't there that long. Uh, she said the biggest problem was there was no clerk. He was like in the back <laughs> checking uh, checking everybody else out. So, okay, we're picking up Anthony now. He's 59. And we'll see who lucky number 60 is for uh, a Greenville ride. He's only one mile to the right right here. Let's go get Anthony. Okay, we're where Anthony's at. He is on the left. Looks like he's already outside because of Blue Dots on Miller Street. Looks like he's over there. Oh, we got one of these guys. There you go. Anthony, he's smoking a cig. All right, all right. Let's get him. What's going on, Anthony? Chill, man. You're going to 10 McGoat McGoa? Yeah, down the street. All right, all right. Let's go. Man. Anthony was just going down the street. Okay, here we go. We'll take that top tipper for our 60th ride. It's going to be Raymond. And he is downtown Greenville, and he's only going one mile. So, all right, Anthony was just going like half a mile. He's just like, I don't want to walk. I'm like, that's what Uber's for, man. I'll take you where you want to go. So let's go pick up Raymond, and that should be our last ride. Well, not our last. We'll probably take that one. I'll get the quota for the promotion. I got to pay more attention to these promotions. I know they would give you like $2 extra per ride during the nights, but these like whole complete, all these trip rides... I think I got so many rides because I worked downtown a lot for the concert. So, yeah, we'll take the extra sixty-five dollars, and that'll put us over twenty-five hundred for the uh, for the week. And we'll go over the numbers later on tonight when I get home. Just uh, seven days of Ubering. How much can you make with a two thousand eleven Toyota Sienna minivan with red wheels? But yeah, you can make money if you need to pay your bills this month. This week will pay both my mortgages. To pay. My lake property and my house in Simpsonville's mortgages, so that is a blessing to be able to do that, just Uber driving in Greenville. Sure, the uh, tips helped a lot this week, but we have, it'll actually be like 27, because we have 22 right now, uh, 22 and change when we're done. We get to 65, so that'll make it like 23, and we've had $485 in cash tips, so 28, $2,700, $2,700, $2,800, man, that's... That's cool. That's cool for one week Ubering, but I did work my butt off and I did tell my family bye, but I was home every night, saw them every morning and uh, started out late on Saturday because we had to do that, that cut, tree cutting over there at the lake to get it ready for that stump to be out and get the concrete going all the way to that shop. At least get a metal building up on that side with two 14 foot doors and I'll be happy with that. I'll be able to store the boat, the red truck, the screaming chicken. I'll, I actually probably, probably keep the screaming chicken over in that other garage, but I'll start taking apart uh, the fourth generation Camaro we have, the SS, and uh, start buying a K member for the IROC. But I'm gonna sell that IROC. If you're interested in that maroon IROC, 4,500, five grand is what I want for it. Um, and I'm gonna go buy a, I'm just gonna get a five speed one. If I can get a Canary Yellow five speed one, that would be awesome. That's what I'd really like, like an 87, 88 Canary Yellow T top five speed. Um, of course, minimal rust would be awesome, especially minimal rust in the T tops. Um, but then it'll be a lot easier to take that T56 and that LS1 out of the 4th gen and put it in an already manual car. Just I'm not a huge uh, hot rodder or fabrication auto mechanic, but I do enjoy it. I do love it. It's my passion. But i got to pay the bills and i got to raise these boys. So that's where I see the future of the channel going is, is taking cab overs or, or older uh, 
W9s or whatever and working with Allison rebuilding some motors and uh, also having some fun with a little bit of older cars that we loved. Like I want to take a SS Impala, like a 96 and put a, a newer, later model engine in it, like an LSA or uh, LS2 or something like that, just stuff like that. And maybe get into the Dodge market too, where we do the Magnum and switch out with Hellcat motors. As Hellcats come older and, and worn out, we can rebuild the motors and stuff. But those, those motors are stout from the factory, so pretty cool. That's the future, though. That's why I'm trying to take trees out and try to build that shop. And then half the shop will be two 14-foot doors in the uh, shop. And then on the other side, we'll build a nice little house that kind of faces the lake or bar dominion, whatever you want to call it. With a nice open deck facing that, that lake property. And that'll hopefully be the forever home and the retirement because I'm not getting any younger. I'll be 43 pretty soon. And uh, I'd like to enjoy my sons and some sunsets, some lake days, and, and uh, just keep hanging out with you guys on YouTube. And it's been a blessing to my family, and I want to hopefully keep it going for everybody. But we are going to be in mats. I, keep, I haven't talked about this in a while. We're going to do a green APU service change because my green APU is almost ready for the 1,000-hour uh, service change. I have the little service kit, uh, air filter, oil filter, fuel filter, and change oil. We'll be doing that probably Monday or Tuesday. T-Dubs T -Dub is getting her hair colored Tuesday, so we can't really leave for our vacation until after Tuesday. So once her hair is done, maybe we'll leave Tuesday night. So I'll probably do that video Tuesday with the green APU. Check them out, greenapu.com. If you run a truck, you need an APU to help you with just saving fuel and saving your motor. So check them out. And also at Matt's, we'll be at Truck Smarter on Thursday. Um, meet and greet and happy hour after the show about five o'clock at a pizza place about a mile walk from there so we'll be there all day with truck smarter on thursday friday we're going to be free roaming between truck smarter and green apu and we'll be hanging out with safety auto prep the whole time uh crystal will be out there with us and so at the end of the show on saturday it's open to the public a lot of people there if you find us and fill out one of our entry forms um five o'clock on saturday after we have a meet and greet with green apu from three to five on saturday at their booth um we will be giving out a thousand dollars cash the one lucky winner who we've come across that whole weekend and has one of their just one one entry per person if you have a family of three people it's three entries that's fine or whoever's there with you but um it to be in person at the giveaway it'll be in the main lobby of the convention center um after we meet and greet with green apu uh, from three to five we'll do a thousand dollar cash giveaway but you have to be there in person so we'll just pull names if you're in the audience you got a thousand dollars first person to get their name called and that can be there. I can understand you could fill out a slip and something happens, you're not there on Saturday or you can't be at that at that place at that time. So anyways, that's be pretty cool. Safetyautoprep.com, check them out for all your compliance needs, all your drug consortium needs. If you start your own authority, you need that stuff. And uh, if you're a one truck operation in you, uh, there's a lot of paperwork, a lot of stuff to think about. So to have them in your corner to help you with that is really, really priceless. And it's a minimal fee for compared to other places out there. So. Check them out, safetyoprep.com, greenapu.com, and Truck Smarter, the best load board out there. All right, let's go get Raymond, our 60th ride, and let's get back to trucking tomorrow morning. He's broken wings. All right, Raymond's at the Hyatt. Let's go get him. Okay, we dropped off, earlier we dropped off somebody here, one of our other rides we needed, our second ride of our five. This is our fifth one. Here we go, Raymond. Looks like we got four guys. I have to move these seats up a little bit. All right. There's a lever right here. If you pull the first one out, it'll move it forward. Okay. There you go. Perfect. I'll get it. Okay. Excuse me, miss. Are you we saw these guys earlier. Raymond and I are trying to figure out what's going on here. I don't know if it's a safety uh, meeting or what. But we're definitely dressed in neon and weird shorts okay welcome to downtown greenville and raymond is our 60th, 60th ride congrats guys we'll Thank figure you. we'll Thank figure you, we'll figure out that seat someday so don't worry yeah, yeah, yeah. all right if you can pull that lever right there let your buddies out pull the back one this time you can figure it, yeah there you go bam we're figuring it out all right i got it yeah <laughs> thanks guys take care all right later all right, 60 rods in the books. Let's see what this does for, uh... Ooh, but those guys are cool. I didn't ask them what their industry was, but they're just in town for business. I told them to go over to the uh, bourbon bar for a nightcap at the old Grand Bohemian. So now we're just gonna look for a ride, heading back home, and we're done, guys. Seven days of Ubering is over. And we've only made $70 today. Oh, only, but we've been out for about three hours. 
seventy dollars, but we just got the sixty-five from Uber. So there we go, one hundred and thirty for the last day, and I could go all night, but I don't want to. I want to go back home, call it a, a, a day for, call it a, a week for Ubering, and uh, let's just look for that last ride heading door, down towards Simpsonville, and uh, we'll shut it down. And the minivan did good this week. Good job, Toyota. Is that beautiful Lamborghini? Oh yeah. And let's check out this promotion. So let's see what it did for us. Uh, complete 65. And we did it. Okay, congrats. You earned 65 extra. Extra 25 for 10 more trips. So there we go. I'll take it, Uber. Thank you. So let's see what we did for as of right now. Because it should add that 65 into our total. Oh, it did. There we go. Oh, okay, now we have to make 8 more dollars just to get to it even 2300 and see we could still go for so much longer tonight and get hotel or uh, airport rides and stuff but i think we'll just call it quits guys I'm, I'm spent i'm spent with ubering but you can definitely make some money ubering you add 500 dollars, 495 dollars in tips on top of that number and uh yeah that's a good week so we'll see what we end up with total um but we'll do that back home probably getting hot tub tonight and on top of that our uh, we sent thanks to our buddy they just tipped us five bucks for that ride so we are almost <laughs> we're so close to 23 we have to do it now we're going to be should add five to that there you go <laughs> three dollars two dollars and 25 cents all right let's find that two dollars and 25 cents and get back home okay and our 2300 hundred dollar trip is going to be james uh he's a top tipper which i hope i am too when it shows me ordering an uber but he's going down towards the uh private airport so or maybe he's going to the private airport, I didn't see. But he's a top rated rider. And that'll is a, only a six dollar ride, but that'll put us over the 23. So that's awesome. We'll get that. And actually, Uber did add that 65 to my today's total. It went from 70 to 140 just now. So plus the five dollar tip. So yeah, it's 140. Cool. Awesome. Let's get James. He's right up here off Maine. And let's call it a day. Those are some big wheels on the Tahoe. My goodness, it's like 28s. Maybe 30s, I don't know. He's right up here in the main opening, kind of by SIP, where T-Dubs used to work a long time ago. All right, James and his buddy were super cool. Fun guys. I've never been to this Papa's and Beard, but that's where they're going. And they have like a horse carriage and everything right here. Okay. But they put us over 23. That's all we wanted. <laughs> cool. Let's go home, guys. My goodness, guys. A whole trailer on its side right there. <sighs> Weight distribution and taking turns. Be careful. We're almost home. Do you, do you got some or you need to go get some? I'll take it. Come on. Yeah. I appreciate it. No worries, man. <laughs> so we're almost home, boy. I'd help out, right? He's he's stuck there. <laughs> Has his truck stuck right before the railroad tracks on the uh, Fairview exit, so we'll go get him back, get him some fuel, and then we'll go home. So, one more good deed for the day, and help out when you can. Good man, I hope that works out for you. What was your name? Yeah, all you can do. Okay, what's up, man? Nice meeting you. Later. All right, we got him taken care of. He's got some gas. Let's get back home. Glad we could help that guy out. Good deed for the day. It is a beautiful sunset coming. Uh, I think we're going to take this for a ride because T-Dubs is at a photo shoot. The boys were used by one of our friends as a, uh, I'll tag her right here on the right. Photography company. So yeah, check her out if you want some pictures taken. If you're in the Greenville, South Carolina area. Lucy, Lucy, I see you, baby. Lucy's happy to see me. So. I think we'll take that for a ride until she gets back from that photo shoot. And uh, then we'll take T-Dubs to dinner and close this video out. Oh, but my goodness, it smells good in here. T-dubs, well done. Oh, it smells good. Hi, Lucy. Okay, I'll give you pets. I'll give you pets, pretty girl. Oh, pretty girl. Pretty girl. Tiki, I'll give you pets too, buddy. I know. Don't be jealous. Get down, Lucy. You're not allowed to catch. Good girl. Oh, shit. How was the day? Was it cool? Good? Okay. All right, let's go fire that bike up. Just take a little ride. And then we got early morning uh, trucking tomorrow. Oh, goodness. downtown 
Simpsonville. Oh yeah. It's getting cold out here though. Let's get back home. Well, that was a nice ride. Now it's time to take T-Dubs to dinner. He can cut off the shower. He might need help. No, he shouldn't need any help. He should be fine. You ready, my lady? Let's go. It is a little bit cold, right? Woo. Not bad, though. They have way worse up there. Here's the guy that sang that concert. Uh, okay, Brown. Oh, Thank you for all fly. those tips, Kane Brown. Appreciate right. you, man. Let's me take T-Dubs to the Grand Bohemian. I'm excited. I'll be fun. Beautiful sunset. Beautiful motor. <laughs> What's up, man? We're just hitting the bourbon bar for a little bit. Right. Uh, keys are here. Thanks, man. Gotcha. Oh, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you. What do you think? It's okay. Right? It's cute. Thank you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna see a set of stairs on your left. Just take those stairs down. They'll be right down. Thank you awesome. So Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, beautiful. What? We have to do a big uh, staycation. Staycay? Yeah. Okay. Maybe for like anniversary. It smells like seafood. It smells good. Beautiful hotel. Right? Not bad at all. Oh, Native American things. I love it. That brings me back to What? It's pretty cool. I like it. I guess you can be outside and it's right on the uh, river. Okay, so I'm thinking here. Um, the number's 88, so we're gonna go with uh, Heaven's Door. One ounce. What do you think? What is Heaven's Door? What is that? Was oh, that a bourbon? Some of the distillery products. Yeah. So we are currently restocking several. Restocking. All right. Let's see if we have Heaven's Door because I married this woman off Angel's Envy. Oh yes. And that's the right number, eighty-eight. Okay, so Heaven's Door volume four, eleven years. It better be worth ninety bucks. But, uh, speaking of ninety bucks, we got twenty-eight hundred. We cleared through an Uber, guys. Um, Twenty-five hundred net. So. A lot of that was the tips, a lot of that was a concert, but I mean, you can do good with Uber. That's what I'm trying to prove is that you, when trucking dies, you don't have to run your truck for these low rates. You can still make a living, pay your bills, um, and you just have to be an Uber driver. You gotta take it down a notch, and that's fine. So, tomorrow we'll do some trucking, but as uh, for tonight, God bless you guys. And we will see you on the next one. Bye. Let's try this, try this bourbon. So gorgeous. Like sweet and smooth. Doesn't burn at all. Smooth and sweet. My goodness. All right. I guess that's what you get when you uh, age at 11 years. Really, like it's not. Mm. You know when you like take a sip yeah. and it's like burns your mouth. Yeah, that's, that's actually really nice. It's really good. It's really All right, guys. Nice. Really good. Grand Bohemian.